Hey, this is Mr. Scott. We're going to run through the sodium acetate lab, um, show you in case you're absent. So we're going to work with some water as our solvent, and we're going to work with some sodium acetate. So as you look over the steps in your lab, this is page 28 on your lab or page 32 on your iPad. So the first couple steps talk about getting exactly five mils of distilled water. So we're going to use that. So I'm going to get five mils distilled here gonna read the bottom of the meniscus there and you can see I'm pretty close to five you overshoot a little bit got this plastic pipette reach in there get a little bit out get yourself exactly at five once you do that you got this gigantic test tube that you're gonna use to put that solvent in you're supposed to measure out 0.5 grams of the sodium acetate so I got the weigh boat here you got the sodium acetate I don't know how well you can see that but yeah there you go gonna Fold it up, enter it into the test tube. All right, and if there's any on the sides, you can kind of swirl it around there a little bit. You're supposed to take a look. Do you see any crystals in there? Is it saturated, unsaturated, or supersaturated? So it's going to ask you some questions like that. So the first question says, "Is did all the NAC, NAC dissolved sodium acetate?" And if I hold it close to the camera here, I think you can see some crystals still at the bottom there. If that's the case, you can always take the rubber police band here, stir it around a little bit, and check it out, see if it goes away. All right. And it looks like I still have a couple of crystals floating around in there. And then it said add 0.5 more grams of crystals and shake the test tube for three minutes. So I'm going to take another 0.5 grams here, add it to the original. Not going to change the amount of solvent. I'm going to add that there. Now for shaking for three minutes, uh, there's stoppers at your lab station. So you're going to put that on there, and you don't have to shake it all over the place so that the sodium acetate gets everywhere. You can just keep it lowered, shake it around for three minutes. And after about three minutes, you should notice of shaking, eventually the sodium acetate disappears. All right, so all of it gets dissolved into the solvent. So when that happens, it's asking you a question on your lab. Was the original solution saturated? And you're supposed to explain. It had to have been unsaturated if it had enough room to dissolve 0.5 more grams. So that's the key here. It's asking about the original. If you got an additional 0.5 grams in there, the original had to be um, unsaturated because it had room for more. Okay. So the next step that it asks you to, is to get 14 grams. And this is not a typo. There, that is 14 grams. That's a huge amount of sodium acetate. You're going to pour that into the gigantic test tube here and that's one of the reasons why we're using such a large test tube you get all that in there and you should see it'll be really 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 cold to the touch because uh, some of the, the sodium acetate is also used in um, ice cold packs so you could try that out but anyway so you get this amount of sodium acetate in that large test tube we're gonna get that to eventually dissolve but before it asks you to do that you're going to go inside the test tube with your um, pipette get some of the slurry and put it into a small test tube so I'm gonna set this in the beaker for now get a small test tube pour that in there and then you're just gonna take a crystal and you can see I've got some crystals on the top and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in and see if that dissolves because I'm trying to figure out if this is saturated or unsaturated so when I put that crystal in you can look around there now this one's gonna be a little bit too hard for you to see on camera but you can take a look and I can see that crystal floating around in there it did not dissolve so for that reason we can say that that solution is saturated it had no more room for um, that crystal to dissolve so just getting used to a little bit of that terminology I'm gonna go back and pour this back in so take your little test tube pour that back into the original and now here's where you're gonna go ahead and set up your warm water bath for this to heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. 
Now remember when you're lighting the Bunsen burners, if you haven't done this in a while, always light the Bunsen burner off to the side. Watch your long hair and sleeves. And make sure your hair is tied back if you got long hair. So you're gonna turn on the gas. And then you're going to, at an angle, take your flint lighter and you're going to strike it, get some sparks. When you do that, you're gonna put this underneath and you're gonna heat up this, this sodium acetate solution. You're taking the rubber police man and you're gonna put that inside and you're gonna stir that until it gets nice and hot and eventually all of that will dissolve. And that's what we're going for. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second. All right, so here we go. You get the striker. Catch that. Now, if it's real high and yellow like this, um, let's see if you can see. I'm going to set this down. And you're going to open up the barrel to get more oxygen in the flame. And then you're going to screw the, uh, the bottom so that you can get the flame lower. You can see that that flame's way too high. So I'm going to lower that bottom. And then just put it underneath, heat that up, and stir it till it's all gone. And I'll show you what that'll look like in a second. So a lot of students, when, they're, when they have this test tube and they have all that solute in there, a lot of students want to say this is super saturated. This is not super saturated. Super saturated is only when you trick it into holding more than it should. So if it's just got a bunch of stuff at the bottom, all it is is saturated. It's just holding the maximum, the extra is just at the bottom. So just heating it up, waiting for all that solute and solvent to get dissolved. Quick selfie, woohoo! All right, so I'm just about finished here. Uh, as you can see, there is no more solute in that test tube, okay? Uh, the solvent has dissolved all of it. So I'm gonna take the rubber police man out. I'm gonna turn off my flame, okay? Gently take that rubber police man out. And then you want to be very careful getting this test tube out of here. So the top of it is actually cold enough for you to touch so you could grab it that way. Otherwise use the test tube clamp or you can call your teacher over. But uh, basically you're going to take that out. And what's crazy is you had 15 grams of sodium acetate in there and only 5 mils of water. And you could see that the water is now... Uh, tricked into holding more than it should so as this sucker cools now this is super saturated but it's really really unstable now we're gonna try to trick it even more by cooling this down even more um, so we're gonna get an icy water bath going so I'm gonna go get some cold water bring it over all right now, I don't want to put it right in the cold water right away because uh, the glass from this test tube could shatter I just want to let it cool in the air for a couple minutes and hold it steady as best I can. Um, so you're going to go ahead and just let it let it set for about a minute or two. You can touch the lab bench with it. Just be gentle with it so you don't disturb it. All right. Then after a couple of minutes, you're going to go ahead and put that into the cold water bath. Let's say two minutes. Hi, Mom. All right, it's been about two minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the cold water bath. You don't wanna bang it around too much, so just be gentle with it. And then you're gonna also go get some ice cubes. So uh, get some ice cubes here. I'm gonna put those around, and you can do that gently as well. We really wanna cool that down. So on the saturation curve, if we lower the temperature, the water shouldn't be able to hold that sodium acetate in there. But right now it's fooled into holding more than it should. So we're just gonna keep driving that temperature down. Now there's a place on your uh, packet there to have your teacher stamp once it's nice, good and ready. Uh, but if it goes back, like you start to see some precipitate coming out of there before you're ready, then you gotta go back and heat it up again. There's something going on wrong, either you disturbed it or um, for some reason that we didn't trick the solvent into holding more than it should. So it should be relatively clear. And the longer you wait, the better. So I'm at about four minutes here. So I want to wait till, I would say good five minutes till 
Um, that, so that test tube is really, really cooled down with an icy water bath. So I think I'm about ready. So I'm gonna go ahead, remove this guy. All right, and you can see this if I bring it over. You can see it's perfectly clear. There's no crystals, it's nice and cold. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find a crystal. So you see how there's a crystal lying in that um, weigh boat still? Just gonna use one of those crystals and drop it in. And I want you to see what happens. It's, 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 I love it. It's one of the reasons why I love science. So we're gonna drop that in to a super saturated solution. And that's gonna cause it to remember that it shouldn't hold as much as it does. All right. 